When you're cornering, have you tried trail breaking? Trail breaking is a hard braking period, followed by progressive easing off the brakes while turning into the corner. It's an advanced braking technique which requires a lot of practice, however, it can help you find the limit of late braking. Trail braking is a way of maximizing your entry speed while minimizing the amount of time lost through braking on the preceding straight. So your braking point will actually be further along the straight than a conventional braking point. Let's take this hairpin turn as an example and then we'll break down the different stages of trail braking. So this is the onboard of Bader El Soleiti. Step one is to brake hard in a straight line applying a high amount of brake pressure. Now you're going to carry the brakes into the corner. Now as you initiate the turn in, this is the time to start easing off the brakes. Remember, this is not the same as coming off the brakes completely, rather you're gradually releasing your foot to scrub off speed as you get closer to your apex point. Now we can start to unwind our steering wheel as the cart is in the correct position. This is the time to start feeding the power again. By the time we've hit the apex, we're completely off the brakes and we're back on throttle, which we're going to increase progressively as we make our way out of the corner. Let's review the steps one more time. So press the brakes hard in a straight line, carrying them into the corner. As you start to initiate the turn in, gradually release your foot off of the brakes as you head towards the apex point. And we can start feeding the power because by the time we get to the apex point, we're completely off of the brakes and we're going to direct the cart back to the outside edge again. Braking too late and overshooting the corner is a common mistake you can make when you're attempting trail braking. This is either because you've overshot your braking point or you're not applying enough brake pressure. Setting a reference point can be one way to overcome this because the reference point sets a gauge on where you should press the brake pedal. So you can start by braking early before the reference point and once you build up confidence, you can start braking later and later to a point where you're either braking at the reference point or even slightly after the reference point. But just remember, if you find yourself sliding or drifting, then you're carrying too much speed and that slows you down. Now I want to conclude this video by asking, what kind of techniques do you use for trail braking? And do you find that it's more effective than conventional braking? If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. But until the next video guys, keep karting and carry on.